Welcome back. A one word that a lot of us got used to in 2020 is staycation. With many putting their travel plans on hold, staycations have been on the rise. And if you're looking to plan your next staycation here in New Mexico, look no further than Las Cruces. Crystal spoke with Lorena Sanchez of Visit Las Cruces, finding out more about what the Aggie City has to offer. Joining us this morning, we have Lorena Sanchez with Visit Las Cruces. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us, Lorena. I'm super excited about this interview because a lot of people in New Mexico are doing staycations this time around, and you guys have a whole lot going on in Las Cruces. So let's talk about that. Yes. So um, Las Cruces is a really great place to be. It's the, the second largest city in New Mexico. It's in southern New Mexico. If you've ever been to southern New Mexico, and northern New Mexico, it's they're very different places with a lot of kind of variety in what to do. Um, and so Las Cruces is a great place, especially to get outdoors and do some social distancing and really have a little bit more normalcy um, and enjoy some really incredible sights. Let's talk about some of the type of activities that you'd recommend for us to do down there. Yes, so um, we have Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks National Monument, which is made up of about four different mountain ranges here in southern New Mexico in the Las Cruces area. And there's a lot to do. Um, Oregon Mountains have some more established hikes. I kind of recommend them for families who, you know, have kiddos and who need some of those facilities as well. That's a really great place to go. There's some really challenging hikes in the Robledo Mountains, um, Doniana Mountains as well. And then there's also some, some options for um, biking. A lot of people like to mountain bike over here. We have several trails laid on a uh, multi-use path. We have for the people that are a little bit, um, you know, they don't have that quite that higher advanced skill set. And then Doniana Mountains, which really is like a great place to kind of challenge yourself. Um, and then uh, just, just some really great hiking, off-roading opportunities also in the Robledo Mountains, which is kind of rare for areas to still let people do that. But um, those are some really great ways that you can social distance, feel safe, and just kind of have a really great outdoor experience a little bit more normal. That sounds like a lot of fun. So in addition to biking and hiking, is there anything else down there in southern New Mexico we can check out? Yes. So a lot of people like to come down here in particular to go see Masia. That is just right up against Las Cruces. Um, it is a beautiful place to go to. They have an amazing plaza surrounded by some really great local shops. So you'll have some great opportunities to support local businesses, local business owners, and some um, great places to eat there as well. We have a really incredible farmer's market on Saturdays. They're doing what they can for social distancing protocols and making sure people are safe. But that is also another way that you can support people locally here as well. And then we got um, some really great wineries where uh, the oldest wine region in the country, actually. And so we got some great opportunities to say, taste some great wine, eat some good food, um, and also meet some great people. We're really known down here for being friendly and welcoming. You know what, a, a lot of people may not realize if they're from northern New Mexico is that White Sands not too far from Las Cruces either. Yes, White Sands is um, a little less than an hour away from Las Cruces on the other side of the Oregon Mountains. So not only when you head over there, you're going to get a really great, incredible drive with some really great scenery, but you're also going to see a place that you have never seen before and is really an incredible opportunity to also kind of check off those national parks on your list. Because I know a lot of people like to do that. They like to to kind of tick those boxes. Absolutely. Get it off your bucket list, right? <laughs> so I know a lot of our viewers are probably thinking if I've never been down there, I would like at least maybe a guide or, or some more information. Is there a website where we could find out more details? Yes, visitlascruces.com is a great resource. We have a lot of this kind of information. Not only that, but um, some, some resources to find where you can stay as well if you come down here for a little staycation. And then uh, you can also catch us on social media on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Perfect. Lorena, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.